Coming up, our campus organizations have some great events planned. Today has many events planned both here and nationally, so stay tuned in. Live at the studios for Bossier Parish Community College. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nathan Dare. It's Thursday, October 14th. Welcome to the Bipsy News. And I'm Brooke Hill. Dare, why don't you start off thoughts by telling what's going on around campus? Coming up tonight at 7.30 uh, p.m., the Little Shop of Horrors is having their first show of the 2021-2022 season. General admission tickets will be $20 per person. Bipsy students will receive one free ticket with their student ID. Here's Ben with Behind the Scenes. I'm here with Dr. Crawford to ask him a little bit more about his upcoming show, uh, musical, Little Shop of Horrors. Dr. Crawford, uh, could we get a little bit more insight on directing a musical versus a drama or a comedy? Sure. When I uh, direct here, which I direct all of the main stage productions here, if it's a comedy or a drama, I'm dealing with actors in the, in the world of the play and I'm dealing mostly with their voices and their bodies and that sort of thing and speaking. But with the musical, it's a little different because I'm also the music director. So I have to be concerned with the musical quality and their vocal quality. I teach voice here at Bipsy as well. And uh, they have to match up with what's needed in the script and score. And they have to, you know, read the music, learn to read the music, learn what it is. So I teach the music as well as instruct them in where to go and how to move and that sort of thing for the play. The way I'm understanding this is, is that whenever you direct a comedy or a drama, when their body language isn't taken into account as much as their musical ability. Is that right? Well, you're, you're always telling a story. I tell them the, the most important things are to have fun, tell a story, and be heard and understood. Mm -hmm. And those three things apply to any play. But in a musical, you have to be heard and understood in a very specific way. Okay. People can't tell if you say something, you know, a little differently. But if you sing the wrong note, they know right away. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's where the difference lies. Okay, I, I think I'm getting under, to understand. When it comes to selecting your lead, your lead actors, what is the process that you go through in a musical? Well, we have auditions here, just like professional auditions uh, anywhere. I'm also artistic director of a summer company, summer theater company. And we post auditions. Students or anyone from the community, for that matter, can come uh, as long as they're 17 years or older. And uh, they come to the auditions. They may read for a part. They may sing for a part. Generally, I have them do a lot of things and do some improvisation. I want to see their chemistry and how they work with each other. And, and how they get along with the group and the crowd. Then I have to look at, okay, are they right for the part? Are they right height, height, you know, vocal quality? Uh, all sorts of things go into it. So I get, you know, 25, 30, 40 people in front of me, and I have to choose 12 of them, and I choose the ones that are best suited for the play. All right, it definitely sounds like a rigorous process to go through to be able to choose the correct people when it comes to a musical. Um, thank you, Dr. Crawford. Uh, that was really insightful. Thank you for coming and coming out and having this interview with me. We'll be moving on to the lead actors uh, in right a second. I'm here with Case and Smith and Faith Hines, the lead actors in Little Shop of Horrors. Um, I'm going to start with you first, Kaysen. Uh Tell us a bit about your character. Um, so Seymour Krellborn is a bit of a schlop. Uh, they live in an undefined state, but they live in this area of the town called Skid Row. Um, and the idea is sort of like, you know, Seymour is strapped for cash. He was in an orphanage when he was younger, didn't have any parents. And um, he just basically lives uh, with this um, older gentleman named Mushnik, and he works in his shop and does practically like you know the most base level of labor for the base level of pay, and it's the life that he's become content with. Okay, sounds very interesting. Uh, Faith, I'm going to go to you now. Uh, tell us a bit about your character. Uh, well, Audrey is kind of like a, um, she's that low character who um, doesn't really have a lot of confidence in herself. Um, and she's been through a lot with a lot of guys, and it, you can really see that kind of trauma behind her. Um, but she tries to work hard in the shop alongside Seymour, and um, she's, she's doing the best she can. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Thank you so much for being here with me. Uh, we're going to throw it back to Brooke now. And after the break, Abigail Johnson has your weather. Communication. 
Education Media, hands on. Yeah, you know we hands on, giving you all the tools you need to succeed on the ad BPC. C. Broadcasting, TV production, wanna be on television, we can get you started. Every day the photo shoot, got fine art photography, know the film up, also making documentaries. Graphic design is real fun, Photoshop, illustrators, characters come alive with computer animation. We got sound recorded with studio production without the training. How could I record this greatest? Lights, camera, action, come alive and be creative, business of music. Maybe you could be my next agent, media for ministry, pitches where you wanna be, looking for for all the majors that breed creativity, communication media ain't for the wannabes, yeah, it's only for the gonna bees. got cool professors, master your craft with ease, cool professors, master your craft with ease. SGA will be hosting a pizza and chill fundraiser in the Student Life Building. Here's some SGA members with more information about the upcoming event. So our fundraiser is called Pizza and Jill, and what that is is it gives you an opportunity. The Pizza and Jill event will be continuing. Food can, will be continuing on Tuesday, out October SGA, 9th. Getting to new, know new people and getting more involved in the Bipsy community. So our pizza fundraiser will actually have large one-topping pizzas from Domino's. They will. We will have sausage, pepperoni, and cheese. You can buy a slice of pizza for two dollars, or you can buy a whole pizza for fourteen. The Pizza and Chill event will be continuing on Tuesday, October 19th, and the final date is Tuesday, October 26th. So let's go show our support to our student government by hanging out and eating some pizza with them. Student Life and SGA is sponsoring the annual talent show. You can win up to $500. It'll be held on October 30th at 6 p.m. in Building C. Tomorrow is the last day to enter for the Bipsy Talent Show. The deadline will end at 4.30 p.m., so go sign up before it's too late. And after the break, Abigail Johnson has your weather. My name is Joshua Waldrop. I'm the director of bands and instructor of music here at Bossier Parish Community College. So after high school, I enrolled in Bipsy. I got my associate's degree. I went on to pursue my bachelor's and master's. I performed in symphonies across the Arklatex. I've traveled the United States playing in bands, spending time at recording studios. I'm very excited to bring it back to Bipsy for you. I'm Gulia Chandler. I'm a music program director here at Bossier Parish Community College. We offer an associate degree in performing arts with concentration in music. And also, we now have a new concentration which is called music production and technology. So maybe you're like me and you have a history of concert band and you want to pursue that past high school or jazz band. Maybe you're a singer and you want to be in the choir. Or if you don't want to play your instrument, maybe you want to do sound recording and technology. Whatever it is, we have it for you at Bipsy. We have a wonderful performance hall here that seats around 300 that we use throughout the whole school year. If you're not a music major, you can join a choir or band. You don't have to be a music major. You can study whatever you want, but you can participate in those ensembles. One of the best things about Bossier Parish Community College is that we offer music scholarships. So we have some wonderful opportunities here at Bipsy that we'd love for you to take advantage of. Come talk to myself or Dr. Chandler We'd love to show you what's going on at Bipsy. Hello, I'm Abigail Johnson here with your Bipsy weather forecast. The te current temps at Bipsy on Thursday is 84 degrees with scattered thunderstorms coming in. The humidity is 69%, the dew point is 70, the wind is coming out of the northwest at 10 miles per hour, sunset will be at 6.42 p.m. Our current temps for the area in Marshall is 82, Nacogdoches 86, Texarkana 82, Ruston 84, Minden 83, Natchitoches 86. Now on to our five day forecast. On Thursday, we will have a 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms with a high of 84 and a low of 73. On Friday, we will also have a 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms with a high of 89 and a low of 56. We will have a cool front coming in, so on Saturday we will have a partially cloudy day with a 10% chance of rain with a high of 74 and a low of 51. On Sunday we will have a sunny day with a 5% chance of rain with a high of 75 and a low of 50. 
On Monday, we will also have a partially cloudy day with a 5% chance of rain with a high of 76 and a low of 52. That was your Bipsy weather forecast. Now back to the news desk. In New Orleans, gas prices are surging over the past week. Gas has raised more than six cents. Compared to the last year's prices, they have raised one dollar and twelve cents. Coming up tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. at the Shreveport Municipal Auditorium, Teresa Caputo from TLC's hit show, Long Island Medium, is coming to town during, uh, during the showing. She'll talk about her personal life stories and explain how being a medium for over 20 years works. Cyport is having a Halloween free day come in from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on October 30th. Costumes are highly encouraged. A candy will be given out to sign up at cyport.com. Coming up on December 4th, ZZ Top is coming to Shreveport uh, Municipal Auditorium. To buy tickets, go to Ticketmaster.com and use code PEARL. DG Fest is coming back this year. If you don't know what DG Fest is, it's a free outdoor concert that music will be made. will be a local artist named Trey Me. Coming up on October 16th is the annual Zombie Walk. The walk will be 4 to 9 p.m. There will be music, costume contests, and door prizes. Coming up tomorrow, October 15th, Casting Crowns is coming to the Brookshire Grocery Arena, so go listen to some great music at 7 p.m. Coming up after the break, we have world news, so stay tuned in. I like to give people memories. I like to give them something that they can look back on and it sparks some memory that makes them really happy or sad. I'm an instructor here at Bipsy. I teach photography, and that includes fun art photography, wedding and event photography, portrait. I also teach Photoshop. Photography can develop new skill sets and create opportunities. After retiring in 20, 2012 from the United States Air Force, uh, I decided to find another passion, um, and that was with photography. Not every photo shoot has the same needs. That's why Bipsy provides instruction in a variety of courses, including portrait, event photography, and fun art photography. As a student, you can learn all aspects of photography, operating the camera, how to pose your model, developing the right light for a shot, and how to use software such as Adobe Photoshop to polish your work. It's so neat to be with the students through the process from day one when they're first learning how to turn on their camera, and then when they leave and they feel confident as they get jobs and see their work appear in galleries and on billboards. We want our students to have access to great opportunities and we're the first college in the state to have a phase one camera. Most importantly, we want them to get their degree and make a living. A group of 125 Afghans, female police officers, judges, activists, even professional cyclists and their families are trying to find a way out by land or by air, staying in the secret safe houses along the way for some new passports made by Afghan diplomats abroad transferred into the country. These now former police officers, their identities hidden over safety concerns, describe part of their ordeal while in hiding. The already treacherous journey made even more dangerous because of the nationality of their rescuers. For Israel, Israel aid, it was the second evacuation out of Afghanistan in a month led by Yodam Plurzer, who coordinated the rescuers from the neighborhood county. Israel aid had even before undertaken such an ambitious rescue operation, by, but negotiating with the Taliban to leave Afghanistan was only a part of the battle. They needed a neighboring country, which we've been asked to not name, but transit through and third country will the group could be held before ultimate resettlement. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen says Taiwan will not give in to China's threat. Her message comes from the same day China said its military exercises in the Taiwan Strait are necessary to, quote, defend national sovereignty. Tensions are high between Beijing and Taipei. On Monday, China released video. It shows recent combat exercises of the Fujian province across Taiwan. The video was released just one day after Taiwan's National Day. Beijing also has recently flown dozens of warplanes into Taiwan's air defense zone but Taiwan is standing firm. 
Now is your chance to see the world's greatest treasures from the edge of space. A stratospheric ballooning company, Worldview, has opened up reservations for it's a five-day adventure. Eight passengers and two crew members will soar 100,000 feet for six to eight hours at a time, but it will come to a cost at $50,000 per seat to be exact. The first commercial flights will fly above the Grand Canyon and they will be scheduled to begin in early 2024. Future locations will include the Great Barrier Reef, the Serengeti, the Aurora Borealis, the Amazonia, the Jeezy's Pyramids, and the Great Wall of China. After the break, we head to Hollywood to see what's happening with amongst the stars. Hi, my name is Lauren Brown, and I teach graphic design and animation at Bossier Parish Community College. I first got into animation as a kid, and I never stopped watching it. Um, and I, I just knew that I wanted to be around the kind of people who made this stuff, and I wanted to figure out how to make it as well. There was just this fantasy aspect to it, uh, this playfulness. I love the escape of it. Um, I wanted to bring that happiness to other people. My name is Tyler McDonald. I'm studying graphic design and digital media. I am currently in a design and animation class and I want to start my own business with animation and t-shirt design. I've been interested in graphic art since I was about 12 years old and I started watching a lot of cartoons. It's just something I saw as something I liked and I've grown to like it and draw a lot of it. Taking classes here has honed a lot of my skills. It's brought them into more of a circle of where I work with them. I would recommend this to anybody trying to become a graphic artist because we have just about anything you want to study here. It's an amazing program. We offer a lot of different courses in graphic design and animation. In graphic design, we start off with Photoshop. So you're taking things from different places and putting them together to make them look like they belong together. In Illustrator, you're creating graphics, so a lot of lines and gradients. You can do logos and layouts and things like that. Um, you know, mascots, all kinds of fun stuff. And then you can put those things together in InDesign when you're looking at, okay, how do I lay out a book? How do I lay out a pamphlet? Something like that. With animation, you can go, you can take your stuff from Illustrator or Photoshop and bring it into After Effects and have it all move around. You can go into 2D animation software and either draw frame by frame, or you can sort of puppet, like a little cutout puppets where the joints move. You can also go to 3D animation where you're sculpting something, giving it color, and then putting bones in it so that you can animate it and then move around in 3D space within the computer. So there are a lot of different areas to explore. Tom Brady celebrates with his oldest son, Jack, after a big NFL win. After he threw five touchdowns to lead the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in victory, he shared a video of himself and his son, Jack from the team's locker room. Tom Brady had a big day as he led his team to another win, but it was nothing compared to the chat he shared with his son following the game. Tom had his, son, his uh, son's arm around him and was wearing a t-shirt with his dad's jersey number and last name. The team post included the message, father-son moment. When he reposted the footage, Tom added the adorable note, best part of my day. He told his son he is so proud of the young man he has as they celebrated. Drake and his son Adonis strikes the same pose on his fourth birthday photo. Drake celebrated his son's fourth birthday by sharing a number of precious pics from his party, including one showing the duo giving a matching hand gesture. In the first pic, Drake showed off a huge smile while bending down next to his son as they both held up matching OK sign. As Drake posted the photo on Instagram, he captioned it, More Life, Kid, as they enjoyed the rest of their party. Drake and his son don't normally make many public appearances together, but when they do, the pair makes them count. Mason Diskett dresses up as Freddy Krueger for Kylie Jenner's spooky dinner party. Safe to say that he stole the show at Kylie Jenner's spooky themed dinner at their home. To celebrate her Nightmare on Elm Street themed cosmetic launch, Kylie Jenner uh, hosted quite the hair raising dinner party on October 11th. The 11 year old whose mom and dad are exes, currently Kardashian and Scott Disick, wore the Nightmare Slashers infamous uniform. 
As for Kylie Jenner, she welcomed guests with a truck showcase her line Spooky Makeup, which included a collection kit with an eyeshadow palette, lip and cheek stain, and false lashes. Megan King marries President Joe Biden's nephew, Cuffy Owens, in Pennsylvania wedding. The Real Housewives of Orange County alum tied the knot with their boyfriend, Cuffy Owens. Megan King wore an off-white blazer dress with a lace gloves and a birdcage bill, while Cuffy Owens wore an L.A.-based attorney sported navy suit. The small wedding took place at the groom's childhood home in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. Becoming husband and wife seemed like the natural next step for the couple. When they both realized Cuffy's parents' anniversary was on a holiday Monday, they both knew that they were going to do too. They said it was a beautiful thing to see eye to eye with each other as we do. Kyle Richards' 24K gold eye patches are on sale at Amazon's Holiday Beauty Hall. Richards is one of the favorites on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She is constantly seen wearing under eye patches throughout the show's 11 seasons. While she applies on a number of top skincare and makeup products, fans have taken notice for her under eye patches and gels. During the season nine cash trip to France, Richards was shown wearing the gold eye patches during a discussion. She approved her eye patches to help lift and firm the appearance of the eyes through ingredients like caffeine, uh, acid, and hydrolyzed collagen. You can buy these on Amazon for $56 along with other products. Sierra shares a photo of her husband in a hospital bed following surgery. The Seahawks quarterback had surgery for a ruptured tendon in the middle finger of his right hand. He injured his finger during the Thursday night game against the Los Angeles Rams. Doctors said that he would have to undergo physical therapy to help heal the recent surgery. Sources told Russell that he will be expected to miss four to eight weeks of field time as he recovers. As Sierra stands by her husband's side, she captioned her post, You're the toughest man I know, always dedicated to do whatever it takes. Kanye West opens a Donda Academy prep school in California. The Grammy-winning rapper and fashion icon is now helping high schoolers reach those exact heights. He is opening a Donda Academy, a prep school named after his late mother, Donda West. It's, locally, uh, it's located in Simi Valley, California. Donda Academy is under West's leadership and is hoping to build a basketball pro uh, program strong enough to rival Sierra Canyon. Jalen Hooks and his future teammates could have a strong opportunity to reach their potentials. West can only hope Donna Academy succeeds to the level its similar name counterpart reach. I'm Abigail Johnson back with you out the door weather forecast. On Thursday we will have a 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms with a high of 84 and a low of 73. On Friday we will also have a 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms with a high of 89 and a low of 56. We will have a cool front coming in on Saturday with a partially cloudy day with only a 10% chance of rain with a high of 74 and a low of 51. That was your out the door weather forecast. Now back to the news desk. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Brooke Hill. And I'm Nathan Dare. From all of us here at BIPC News to you at home, have a great day.